I'm going to share with you five survival tips for Elden Ring. Starting with number five, using rainbow stones to gauge falls. Ever find a ledge that seems questionable to jump off of? Just throw down a rainbow stone to know for sure if you can survive it. If you hear a soft ping, then you know it's safe. However, if you hear a higher pitch shattering noise, well, that's the sound your bones are gonna make if you attempt that jump. They are easy to craft, you just need some rune fragments that can be pretty easy to find. Number four, carry some regen gear with you. One of the most difficult situations in Elden Ring is exploring an area, but being out of healing flasks. Having to choose between playing it safe to save your runes or seeing what's around the corner can be a difficult choice. Maybe it's a sight of grace, or maybe it's an ambush that'll make short work of your low health bar. One way you can hedge that bed is to throw on some regen gear, take a break at a safe spot. This is a little time consuming, but it works in a pinch. The Blessing Dew Talisman and the Icon Shield are both great regen items to keep on with. Now to number three, carry some sleep status effect items with you. I recommend the arrows since they're easy to make and you can use them from a distance. The sleep status tends to be really effective against giants and beasts, basically anything with low focus. The Sword of St. Trina is also a great weapon, but does require you to get a little closer. They can single-handedly turn a difficult fight into a snooze fest. Number two, using fully charged R2s to stagger enemies. I know it's tempting to go for that backstab on a foe you got the drop on. However, you can get in a lot more damage if you throw out a fully charged R2 instead. Oftentimes, it staggers them, and you still get in that critical hit on top of it. It can also work on large foes who are a bit more difficult to stagger by pulling off two heavy R2s in a row. So the next time you get the drop, try a heavy R2 instead. And number one, don't neglect collecting crafting material. Seriously, I know you want to get to that next boss fight or find that treasure, but take the time to grab some basic crafting material in each area. The last thing you want is to be in a situation that desperately requires arrows and not have any thin beast bones. So that means you're going to need to slaughter some cute animals. But you want to be an Elden Lord, right? So put your sympathy aside and drop that axe on the turtle. As always, thank you for watching, and if you want more Elden Ring related content, consider subscribing to the channel. Have a good one.